talk to you guys about this little deal here. These uh, cables. Ah, cables. I'm exhausted. These chains. Chains. Look at them. Dual chains. One and two. There appears to be two there, two there. There's two down there and two at the other end. This system, as I understand it, and listening to uh, Linda Fig again in that one video I loaded, um, she stated that, and I'm trying to find my video on that because I got I got hit hard when I did this video stating that uh, what if these systems, what if there's not a truss system, what if the loads are designed to be fully taken on the deck? I did that video, I don't know, live or not, and I don't know if I deleted it because I was so pounded down or did I make it private. I'll try to find that. If I do, I'll I'll bring it up. The uh, if I can find it with the comments specifically saying you don't know what you're talking about. You this, you that. They call me all types of names there because I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, succumb to just saying you know tension, compression, tension, compression, tension, compression, as a typical system was. And I stated that in a video saying this is not typical. And so maybe this system was designed to the full deck to take all the load of everything. Oh man, I got called everything from quack to jack. So that was that was really bad. And I was just putting videos out then, so I didn't want that to stay up because you know that, that stuff can get momentum. Now <laughs> Linda Fig comes forward in that one in a in a video I have where she's talking and she and I she makes it clear that this is a the deck is designed to take the uh the full load and this is not not um well, it's not. Let me let me do this. Let me pause it and let me find it. That statement. Give me a minute, moment. While I'm looking for that, I want to <laughs> trying to find my video. But here's some stuff I'm just seeing. One year ago, I wrote FIU bridge collapse inherent center flaw center of structure. So if these have trend, we know a lot more about this detail. This bridge now. These being transverse coming across. The weakest point of any span, unsupported span, is the center. And here we are, the center of this on the transverse side. And then on the longitudinal side, they also don't have any uh, supports between it. So it's, it's, it's craziness how this the, the weakest point is in the center and they lined it up where it doesn't have anything underneath for there. In fact, they put more holes in it with the... Uh, um, the water system, the drainage system. Let me keep going. I'm trying to find this uh, thing for you guys. So I guess while we're here, we'll look at this part of the video. This all ties into the chains. I'll come back to that. There's a chains there. I'll, I'll tell you where I'm going with it. Is that this structure <laughs> was not designed to have a chain support on the outside of it. For what reason? What if this starts flexing or deflecting? You know, flexing for you guys. If it starts uh, showing deflection, the chains are going to hold it back. Wait a minute. That means then the forces will be held back by the canopy. Wait a minute. That means those forces will then go drive down these members. Wait a minute. That means that force then is applied to the transverse longitudinal cables, rather, transverse and longitudinal. But they're pinpoints that are being yacked on. I'm, I like my crazy words I make up. You know, pulled on. They're being yacked on right here by the, uh, some of my words I make up, um, by the uh, chains. So why put chains on it at all? You're telling me that this isn't stable when you put chains on it. You're not moving at a rate where wind's going to blow this off. Um, also, it was, it was informed that they were supposed to have uh, supports on each node, um, but that, that changed. Let's go on. Let's go on with the video and let's get uh, images from this. Okay, couple of videos uh, I'm going to pause this now. so I don't need to hear what I need to say again. I'm not sure what I said. Let's just pause it again. And there are the chains. Chain, chain. And at this point, you can see the spacing here that it's not connected. And the chains are being connected to the structure. So we're, we're now learning. You know, this is over there in the, uh, in the impound, I keep calling it, right? I'm stuck with impound now. Um, staging area. So let's get that on here a little bit. Now, I don't know how much they add, how much chain torquing they did to that, but uh, the the duplication of how it's going to sit on the structure over at in in uh, 
on well, and the FDOT said that in their report, they said that Denny Pate stated or someone stated that this stayed out here for what many, many, many days, unsupported with uh, no breaks. And this is what I titled this video: uh, load testing using equal unsupported spans as final installation. I did that back in April 2018, which is thir April 30th. You can see now that these uh, those little metal plates there are part of the supports to keep this uh, in squared up. I don't, you know, I don't know about what kind of winds and all that they predicted or what's going on there. I don't know what's going on there. I wouldn't know if they're taking any loads or not. But there's a they're, they're resting on these uh, jersey type barriers. Again, we see that, and they reported no cracks. Man, save, save, uh, um, you know, some cracks that were. We, we haven't got more details on those. But obviously, no one went into crazy mode. Besides, I think they, uh, the CEI said that he thinks there it's a reversal that some of these members are experiencing tension. Uh, apparently, if that's reversal, that means they should have been in compression. And I think he was referring to these guys down here. Now, this 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 tension they put on this in the concrete. I shared it with. Uh, oh my gosh, my brain is fried. This is late night, and I gotta get to bed. My brain is fried, but let's see if I can just get this across anyway. So if this was in compression, then why do you add more post tensioning to it? The the bars. Well, it could help for for what did I say? Um, their way of, of controlling buckling, somehow balancing this. But I lost the. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the clamping force of these guys and how they did it. Let me move on. I'm come back to that. Oh, and I know I know buckling we can resolve it differently, but this is not your typical structure, is it? This buckling that I'm saying it would be countering because he's on such a slant. Okay, now I got my brain back because on such a slant that the forces would want to you know this would also want to buckle down and break in the middle, right? Break downwards. So if they countered it with the po with the member up here, it's sort of like putting tension on the back side of it to counter that force, almost negating its weight of the column and whatever forces you can do. I'm thinking that was the intent of it. But this is just an experimental bridge. It's crazy that it's, it's an in-service bridge because it's never been done. And, you know, it's all theoretical. And, you know, even my trash talk works out theoretically to going, yeah, you know, that might work. You know, I'm starting to believe that my own hype, if you will. And I say that to, to uh, always keep myself dialed down. I don't get too cocky about my thoughts unless I, unless I nail them. All right. So that was my thought on that. A thought. I'm going to try to fast forward this real quickly. Yeah, we really need to see that. And again, the spacing, the change. So the change, again, they're, they're applied. What? For what for are they worried about this thing rocking and tilting over well did it did it have some rocking and if it did the chain the chain would have taken up that, that it didn't it would have been in tension and therefore pulling on the outside of this this wall system this uh, curb pulling on it which then is pulling on an upward motion back towards this the chain center line obviously the chains path then you would then be putting stress on the transverse cables and relaxing them. Um, unless they somehow stay elastic and they don't get relaxed. So then the problem you ha I have with my own thinking is that, wow, if it, w how much would this cr concrete flex? How flexural would it be before it cracked? And if it's not, if it shows no cracks, does that then also mean that no forces were experienced in the uh, transverse cables? Hi, that's where I have my issue with with my statement on that. Let's let's jump forward, and I'm going to do two, three other things, and then shut this video down. I just want to see what's. I'm scrubbing in the video here to see if uh, we can steal some other data out of this. Well, we do see the patchwork. I think I might have said this in this video. You can see the patchwork they've thrown on here in the different colors, obviously. And I I think I was alluding that are they hiding cracks? Remember, we didn't have the details we had now. This is 2018, uh, April. Okay. And let's go to here. 
And I don't know how you get nine downs, you know. What do you, what do, you do with that nine downs? What happens there? Um, let me pause this and get you the next one. So in this one, we're going to hit on this guy right here. He works for MCM. He's going to be talking, apparently, for MCM. He's going to talk about detensioning 2 and 11. Here we go. Right after that, we will be reopening to the public. Reopening no. A Street to the public. Let's jump over to here. Now, I am off. That's a question right here. that asked me a question about the uh, jackhammer. Okay. We will be reopening the tension of the two bars, of all the rope leads, and the tension of the two bars on top of the bridge. And right after that, so he said detensioning of the two bars on top of the bridge. I don't know if I mentioned it then or not, but I did this back, what, May 21st, over a year ago, um, where he's talking about detensioning two bars. I'm like, what two bars? So anyway, um, two bars. Sounds like a joke, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, right here. This part is uh, maximize your durability well over 125, 150 years, whatever she says here, and then... She also mentions how everything is a compression. So whatever you see here, it's all compression, and it's even mentioned that the uh, loads are carried from the bridge deck and also the uh, can of pea, can of peas. Let's go to the can of peas first. Here we go, listen. Those are installed by working on the already completed deck. Mm -hmm. yes. The strength of the, of the bridge deck system and the roof, it'll carry all the loads. Uh, it meets all strength and, and serviceability criteria. Okay, so you heard that. Um, now, you know, it's, it's all, it's all um, post-tension concrete, so it's very, everything's in compression, so you're going to maximize that durability well over 100. I mean, it's going to be like 150 plus years. So we, we don't want to encourage anybody to. 150 plus years. So let's hear that again. All in compression. It, you know, it's, it's all, it's all um, post-tension concrete, so it's very, everything's in compression, so you're going to maximize. So we've got to hit this part where uh, Embry highlighted it, um, 9.42. Here we go. Right, listen to her talk about protecting traffic. And protecting vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists' connectivity throughout construction. Okay. Protecting vehicles and traffic throughout construction. Uh, well, you heard it. 